my silence I can hear you But I'm afraid to be near you And I don't know Where to begin And I don't know Where to begin Somewhere in the desert There's a forest And an acre before us But I don't know where to begin But I don't know Where to begin Again I lost my strength completely Oh be near me Tired old mare With the wind in your hair What is this planet? I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool, let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on, let me just give you a hand. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good evening, Good Joe. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Here we go. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Helmet. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Light armor, heavy armor. Depends what kind of superhero he is. Hmm. Is it a game or a movie? Oh, it's a game. This is by the same people who made uh, Life is Strange. Uh, I think light armor. You're literally catching the, the opening scenes of it here. It's only a very short it's adventure. So it's, cool. it's, it's, it's actually free to play. Should he it's a be teaser dark for the main game or colorful? Uh, colorful. Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. This looks pretty cool for being made by a nine-year-old. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Right. Let's have a look around. playing ball with my friends before we moved. Okay, so he obviously lives out in the asshole of nowhere. 
I can't wait to go back inside the Flying Fortress. I won't use the walkie-talkie straight away. Elsa is hey, right Spider here. Baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. <laughs> I couldn't see any of that there. If he has a spider in there, though, he's a beaver man than me. Hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. We've all sang along to that film at some point. I've read this one so many times. Strange Things Win, Stories and Pictures by Ethan Ellie. Extremely big chick. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Chris, let me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a look to read. A book to read. I can almost read. So let's read that again now that I didn't mess it up. Thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal, Hal. So obviously a close friend he had before they moved house. A figure in the window there, but I can't look at it. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons. But just in case. I do actually know a little bit about the game here and what it's about, but I don't want to say too much yet spoil things. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Don't let Mantroy control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader! And he wants you to die. <laughs> this is better than any DC movie I've seen this year. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar! Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? Bear's face. <laughs> I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this! <laughs> <Arr>. Ooh! <laughs> you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit. Release him or destroy him? Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me. <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Chris, breakfast. Uh, busy. Be right there. That. And slid out. Did it again. Hold the left trigger to see power actions when this icon is displayed. Look at the tattoo. Let's look it at it. It is time first. for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Of course, we gotta put this on. I can take the pain. At least I don't have to use any needles. 
Right, we should probably go in before Pops gets mad. A quick look here. I hope I can draw as good as Mom someday. Okay, so Muller's obviously left or dead. But since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. Can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you see of the world. Love forever, Super Mom. That sounds like something that a mother who was very sick would write. It was like Diana knew she was going to die soon. Chris, I mean now. Oh, looks sick. I know, I'm coming. Yes, Papa. Next time I tell you to come, don't ignore me. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. I answered you the first time. Pour yourself some milk. My douche lord. Good night, Joe. Breakfast of Champions. Looks lovely. Oh yeah, you get back to your morning beer there. Let's see what your priorities are. What'd you expect, a waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the uh, eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh, big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. Sorry. F-bomb in front of a nine-year-old? Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm oh dear. okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything? At all? Must be abusing him. No, it's fine. I worked it out. I I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. What so dick? so you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Hint hint. I was hoping Santa might. Maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs ten bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. Gonna fall asleep. You promise? I do. Don't ever pinkery swear. I go take with a advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. What a monster. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Here's an idea. Put the beer down. Go and get a job.
Well, I can tell you, Chris, we're not going anywhere today. That fuckboy is gonna fall asleep in his seat. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? Yes, back to see my awesome things to do. In my Captain Spirit's costume now, maybe I can find what I need around the place. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. Practice my target skills on these dangerous beer cans. Looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can stop him this time. Can't let the water eater defeat me this time. In the sense he's very lonely, doesn't have any friends, so he entertains himself a lot, probably because his father is a useless bum and drinks all day. I could play Mustard Party too, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. That one's a bit of a dangerous one, let's leave that one till later, at least till Douche Lord's asleep. My superhero team is strong, but I'd better keep my eyes on Mantroid and his super villains. That Montroid is still hiding on this planet with my full costume. I could use my spaceship and find him. Alright, we've got quite a lot to get through here. First, we're gonna mega clean the dishes. This is purely so we don't get in trouble. Oh. Jesus, what was that? What the hell are you doing in there? Oops. Is he coming? Oh no, he's not. Probably gonna get in trouble for that now. Anyway, we can clean that up. Come on, come on, come on! Oh yeah! Score! Ew! Sticky beer cans. Alright! Throw them out. Beer can monster cannot be. Mm. Seriously? <sighs> Your list. Ooh, Dad's going shopping. Sugar, paper, battery, coffee, beer. Of course, the beer's on there. Milk, barbecue chips. Yeah, get some ice cream. Ice Let's cream doesn't cost see. much. What do we need? 160 gallons of ice cream. Here. I've never seen a beaver around here. Beaver Creek, the best damn town in America. I'm guessing that's not where we are because we wouldn't get a postcard of our own hometown. I can't turn it over. Are you serious? You shoot better than that guy any day. Oh, vomit! I'm getting the sense that Chris pretty much does everything around the house here. And we're just gonna trash that. Score! Two points! Rather than super trash, because we saw what, what happened when we tried Damn to super trash the glass. And I don't want to get him in any more trouble than he already is in. Uh, let's not take that out just yet. There might be more shit to put in. Hmm. Maybe I could cook something for Dad. Was mac and cheese in here? Or f bombs? Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one.
No, we're not gonna irradiate. No, we are gonna clean any of this up, no. Boring. Local police face more protests in the shooting death. Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer. An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer, while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department have been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident, which led to public protests and rioting. Probably not the ideal reading material of a young boy, but I want to see what it was about to see if we were or like what area we're from, so it seems like it's somewhere in Seattle. I don't see anything in here. Not off again for now. How is that only a minute? I think it's been two years from put on. Still awake at least. Oops. They're already turned on. Now minutes. you will learn your lesson and stay clean. I hope I set this right. Probably not. I probably got you in trouble. That's it. And that is how you shoot the ball. On fire, all Ten nights. more seconds. There it's key. Fine. Yoink. you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Nice. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Best mac and cheese ever. Nice. Probably Damn, you're on fire. Play with a toy in here. This. Dad loves his dad notebooks. Alright, let's move as much. Ooh, it looks like Mar T Rex is getting hungry. Yeah, definitely do not play with that in here. We'll get shot. Uh, add a log to the fire. Yeah, I think we can do that. You see, this probably end up burning down the house and killing us both. Hey, can you get that? Yes. Goodbye, Log. Chris, answer the phone, please. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, we'll call her. Okay. Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't Insurance, know. Insurance, probably. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member Religion. of the Universal Uprising Church. Close enough. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. 
Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Sorry, my father's a douche. <sighs> Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool story, Dad. Bana's, Bana, Boas, Bana's Pizza, Bana's Pizzeria. No wonder his father doesn't have a job. This writing is atrocious. Rainolob, Reg, Reg. My lob? Reg and... Reg no lob? I don't know what that second one's meant to be. And Dad's cell phone. Reg, my lob. I have no idea. Sorry. Dad is illiterate. There's the cell phone. Hmm. I need a pin code. What is it? No point in putting bullshit in because we'll end up locking it. No, no. Let's see if we can find it no. somewhere. Stole the ball from that piece of shit. Here, Charles. We just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us. Yeah, so she is dead. But we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take her concern as a sign of our love, the way you'd loved our beautiful daughter. So this is from... Uh, it'd be from Chris's grandfather and Emily's dad, which means dad is called Charles, I think. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. You cut to the chase. We want to help. We hope you will last. Take care of Chris for the next year, or as long as you need. Consider joining a support group. Okay, so grandparents reached out to support, and I guess father just ignored. Because as he just said, he sucks. There's my hot dog, man. Join the revolution. Want to play with Hot Dog Man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send it over. Lots of Hot Dog Man exclusive toys to win every month. I can't see Dad selling homes. Get real about your future. Become a realtor today. A 10-week course will give you everything you need to start selling homes and making dreams come true. Lisa Avena is the number one real estate agent in the Northwest, featured on NPR, and voted Best Realtor 2015. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. Portland HeroCon 2017. Okay, so this story is actually set some time ago. Which makes sense, because as far as I know, this takes place before Life of Streams 2. It's like a little prequel adventure. The Hero at HeroCon 2017. Join us in Portland HeroCon 2017. HeroCon 2017, if I haven't said it enough. January 15th to the 17th in Portland City Centre. Over a thousand guests, events and dealers. Be a hero, register today. Bad news, Chris. I don't think you're going to That'd that con. That'd be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo-choo. To all employees, recently our Beaver Creek field offices have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during office hours. Thank you. Mike Stevenson, Operations Supervisor, Northwest Real. Oh, those are Dad's pages. Well, with the big game and probably batten, I would imagine. Oods or anything there that we can take? No. No. 
see what else there is to look at here. That was so popular. Wait. That was so popular. 2005 on that trophy. I wonder, you vain bastard, are you remembering your glory years? Fuck. Well, it was worth a try. Dad never smiles like that anymore. How many took winner in 2005? So it's 2017 now, so this was 12 years ago. Okay. If I could go team. back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Crazy doesn't have a picture up of him meeting his Ooh, yeah. meeting Muller. Yeah, look at the scoreboard, motherfuckers. All right. I'm sorry, Chris. Shoot, Dad. <laughs> Not yet. Sorry, Pop. It's war. Yeah, we saw how he was stressed he got about the phone call, so let's not piss him off. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Okay, so Nick's a friend or brother that isn't around anymore. Which would be then Chris's uncle, possibly. Hmm, let's check this out. Cities of the Pain? Cities of the Pain? 50 Western Movies to Die For by Miguel Fresca. Ian seems like a weird word. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. Eyes. Stephanie Krog. I wonder why Dad right, never hangs out with Nick anymore. But I did look at that one. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. Bora Bora, I'm Dave Druffin. Secret hiking trails of Argon. This has to be Mom's. She liked art. In Spirit Seattle, 1990 to 1995. Project. Dad's room. Oh, where's her sounds? Oh, he's paused the game. I was in trouble there for a minute, but I'm not. I feel naked without my costume. Jeez, where's the heat? I bet the water eater is sleeping again. Okay, so the water eater is... The water heater. I wonder when I can start to shave. Not today, my young shave? friend. Not today. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I imagine he's too drunk to give a shit, son. I never get tired of hot dog man. Never. Huh. A handsome hot dog man, alone and forgotten. Is that it? The end of hot dog man? Hot dog man. Man, I love this issue. Hot dog man's walking along the side of the river. Uh, or maybe a flooded road. Splashed by a car. Now he's sad. Another car honks its horn. It's... Mustard Man and Mustard Man collects Hot Dog Man and they drive off together. Wish I could draw like this. What is going on here? The Mustard Man and Hot Dog Man are happy together in the car, laughing and driving, still laughing, and they crash into evil mustard. 
Oh no, not him. I'm gonna crush you like peanuts. It's over, wait. I'm gonna empty you big time. <laughs> so Mustard has an evil twin who's, who's like 10 times bigger than him. So you're Mustard too. I like Mustard. That's the end of it. There is no more of the issue. Cliffhanger. No diving today, Nemo. Why is it still quiet out here? Can you please put the game back on? You're making me anxious. I don't want to turn around and see you with a belt in your hand or something. Or we can't go in there at the moment while he's still busy doing stats and shit. We need to wait until he's occupied again. Advent calendar. Now there's snow outside. I guess it could be December. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. Okay, Pops has already eaten it. Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. Found the cape. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. <sighs> okay, that's a good start. But okay, now so it's time to build the rest of my costume. We need to find some more. Oh, we're back in the bedroom again. I didn't even notice that we'd come back in here. Shark stinger. Here comes the shark stinger. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! That pedestrian better get out of the way. <laughs> that was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. Sounds slightly like the Flash's line at the end of season two. I'll never kill anybody again. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. We're allowed to have this on. Uh. Yes. Certainly hope you have a remote in your other hand. Yes, you do. Okay. Otherwise, I was going to have quite a lot of questions. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. Right. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I have been good. Here is my list for Christmas. Hot Dog Adventures for the Playbox. Okay, so that's what this console's called, the Playbox. I want a black Playbox console. I'll need to replace the broken one. Drawing paper and pens. Color stricken out. Right? What stricken out means? And he wants basketball lessons for number four. Sincerely, Chris. That's interest and so even though his father's a complete douche lord he's following his father's interests as well yeah what have we not looked at here a viking book what kind of a viking would i be ralph the viking oh you can actually look at that black box confirmed xbox fanboy it's play box gamey play box 
Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. And Rady should have hmm. too. Rady should them. have too. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. Henry the bear. And a sign beside it that says Power Bear. Secret map? What is this? The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Evil dog of Satan. Okay, so the neighbors obviously have an Alsatian or a German Shepherd or something. Some sort of crazy dog that he's scared of. Lonely Desert. That's, I would say it's got scorpions in it, but it looks like a combination of a crab and a scorpion. On the bottom left, we have Green Walker Man. Alien Fields. El Volcano and Forest of Trolls up on the top left. I kind of get the sense he hasn't been to a lot of these places and he, and he imagines what's in them. Like, such as down in the bottom right here, we have the, the uni... The, the uni... What, what kind of a pronunciation is this? It's like my f mouth tries to escape from my face when I'm saying it. The Unir Wall. The Unir Wall. Unir Wall. The Unir Wall. It's like a wheel and a unicorn combined. Brief. Castle Farness. The Maze of Doom. Space Vessel. Home Base number two. Sea of Darkness. There's a pond or something outside. A flying Fortress. And Dan the Terrible. Dan the Terrible Terrible? The Terpa Terrible? It, it looks like the Terrible Terrible. Okay, so there's some sort of other crazy neighbor over there that he doesn't like as well. Very interesting. Montroids Every team. superhero team needs a supervillain team. That actually looks pretty cool. There's a lot of modern day comic book movie posters that pretty much look like this. That's cool. That's the drawing we did at the start. Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Of course he did. Super Comic Store, Ties, Comics, and Gaming. And 50% off on Eugene Avenue, December 1st and 2nd. Super Comic Store at Super. More details. www.supercomicstore.super That's an actual real thing. Also, a QR code there. Look. If that is real or not. Ignis has taught me to explore such things. Look. A ragged colt may make a good horse. That's what came up on the screen of the phone here. A ragged colt may make a good horse. When I scan that QR code. Okay. I thought maybe it would take me to a website or something and not give me a cryptic message like that. Alright, let's see who's on this. We didn't call this earlier because I'm dead. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. Eye sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. I think that's his imaginary friend. Unfortunately, I don't think there is actually anybody out there, which is sad. But 
I'm sure it makes him happy though. Uh, air ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. That was the weakest throw I've ever seen in my life, Chris. Be ashamed. Or he looked at the drawn manual. That's from his mom. Okay, we've seen everything in here then. And let's just close up the wardrobe here so my dad doesn't get furious. I hear the game going again, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Bye, Pops. And if I get if I get caught in here, I'm gonna get beat. I'm too old to be measured now. Right? How stupid are you? How can you not score here? Hold on here now. Oh, I'm seven years old in 2014. Um, eleven months in twenty in 2008. I'm guessing the unlock code for the phone is going to be 2008 then when I was born. I think. I'm too old to be measured now. Right. Not at all. You can get measured your whole life if you want. It just won't change after you're like 20 years old. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. I've decided to break my father's legs using his own bat. That? Yes! Key for something? Light on. Hmm. Interesting. There was me just fixing the light to be a nice guy. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. And mom died, and father turned into a douche lord. Careful of booby traps. Ah, the key for the wardrobe. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways, I just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. Guessing because of father's love of beer. This is probably a dancer from the local club or something and Dad and her have got something going. Interesting. You're gonna have a new mom soon, son. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Dear Charles Erickson, I am twelve. I want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your games. Okay, so his father was actually like big league in the basketball scene. You are great on the court. The last game was the best I ever seen. I hope you are drafted for an NBA team. Okay, so he never made pro. But he was very good at amateur. Thank you. See you at the next game. Todd Hamill. It's probably like really big at college level or something like that. That's scary. Is alcohol drinking your life away? Are you sitting in front of basketball and neglecting your son? You're not alone. We can help. Contact Overcoming Alcoholism. Discount rates available. So we move because Dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Erickson, our records show that you have missed your third mortgage payment despite 
needed extensions and assurances. While we understand and sympathise with every homeowner's situation, our office feels that we have been more than fair in granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay this mortgage by the due date, we will be forced to foreclose on the property. Hope to resolve this issue with you soon. Best bump. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. School district. Dear Coach Erickson. Okay, so when he finished the basketball, he actually became the coach of the, the local college or school. Although our faculty respects your legacy and dedication, you have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior, and with this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We're sorry for this situation, but in the interest of safety, you know we understand that our students are always come first. We've included a pamphlet with information on resources for alcohol-related issues and hope you find future success. Sincerely, Superintendent Mangum. Mangum? Mangum? Sunny Creek School District. Is that everything there? What? Dad got yeah, fired? That's when he started working. We've seen the letters. Hour. We've seen the letter from the dancer. I haven't looked at the basketball or the... Did he buy me a new console? Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way! Awesome! Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Oh, there might have been a piece of the suit or something in here, but I'm not seeing anything. One more time, there's a basketball, the console. Letter from the dancer and the case of letters. No, that's it. Hmm. Dad doesn't play mom's records as much as before. I would like to play the record, but I know he'll be straight in here and catch us. If I smoke in the fortress. I'm breaking the superhero code. No, we're not stealing a cigarette. Absolutely not. He catch you with that. He'll break your legs. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Yes. This will totally protect me from Mantroid. One more piece and I'm almost done. Nice. That was probably what we were meant to find in here. What was that? Shoot! That's way too high for me to reach. You have little faith, boy. You have little faith. Get that chair moved over there. You see this? We had Desert Eagle or something. Dad was so angry at the police. April 15th, 2015. Okay, so this is two years ago. Dear Captain Lee, since you have not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof that I have been more diligent about this case than you or the police department. It is your duty to keep the, captain, the citizens and taxpayers safe. I hope to hear back soon, or you will be hearing from me. Sincerely, Charles Erickson. Ooh. My dad sent a complaint to Captain of the Police Force about something. I remember Dad yelling on the phone a lot. September 20th, 2016. Who knows it was? April 10th, 2015. And this is September 20th, 2016. Okay, so this is one year ago. Mr. Charles Erickson, although I appreciate what you have gone through the past few years, I'm afraid I have exhausted all my resources in regards to this difficult investigation. If you wish to discuss this matter without another angry message, I'm always available to talk. In respect to your case, I'm only invoicing you for one month's work. Sincerely, Mick Collings, The Private Eyes. Right. So, father was complaining to the police force about something, and he was also giving a private eye a hard time about an investigation that he wasn't happy with. So it sounds like something bad happened, and dad wanted it investigated. 
he wasn't getting where he wanted with it. Maybe mother got injured like that. Jeez. Dad wrote a lot of letters. January 20th, 2015. So this is two years ago again. Dear Mr. Erickson, we regret to inform you that street surveillance data is not available for Asteroid Drive and Mantle Street, nor to the general public, unless accompanied by an official state or federal investigation. So we cannot help you with your inquiry. We hope your local Oregon law enforcement will assist you further. Base best Barbie Bracamonte State Highway Monitor. Wonder was mother killed in a car accident? January 20th, 2015. April 10th, 2015. So that was three months after this letter. So this letter was first uh, asking for surveillance data of what happened on that street. This is three months later complaining to the police. And then this is a year later about private investigation. And the private investigator also says, I appreciate what you've gone through the past few years. So something happened at the end of 2014, round about Christmas time, which suggests why Christmas is a emo period for this family as well. We learned quite a lot from that box actually. I'm actually hoping that they don't explain that and just leave it open to interpretation because that would be cool where you could actually just write your own story for it so that's what it seems like mother was killed in some sort of crazy uh, road accident now I must explore without being discovered and dad was trying to get it investigated but pretty much just got pissed off with everybody not wanting to help him turned to drink and has been a douche lord ever since Seven years, 2014. Yeah, because look, if I'm nine years old, and that was seven years, 2014, it must have been... What if I had real superpowers? It must have been Muller that was recording this stuff. Chris, please. Muller was recording his height all the time. She gets killed at the end of 2014. And now father doesn't care about that shit anymore, which is why that stopped getting new records. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, right? Roll. Best mark. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Punch in the door. He passed out now. Not sure. Ah, uh, we don't have anything else to do in there. Some clothes and stuff over there. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? You know, there's clothes and stuff in the corner there. I don't know when I'm allowed to pass the TV though. Not we're good, he didn't say anything. Some car keys. Okay, you guys can't hide from me. No, we can't sit there. What's our superpower option on this one? There is an option on it, but I don't think it comes up from this side. Maybe I have to go back around. What's that magazine about? Hmm, I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. The Railroad Earth. Eight poets on a San Francisco train. around the back of the seat here and see if there's any option on that. Evaporated? No. You'll get in shit, boy. You will get in so much shit if you pour his whiskey on the floor or something or whatever you're planning to do there. That's not. Oh no, I forgot the year. What was it? 2008, I think? It was 2008 he was born. 
go. Two thousand eight. Shit. He wouldn't put twenty fourteen when his wife was di was killed, would he? Answer is to that then. Let me check the phone numbers. Hmm. I know we can go outside and stuff, like, I just don't want to do it just yet until we've done as much as possible. I can't wait to get a real pine tree this Christmas. Ugh. Trash I hate that beer can smell. One way of taking the trash out, just throw it outside the door. That's definitely not going to come back to bite us later. Let's check this washing. It's probably still going. Yeah. The dark oh, door. I hate going in there. Oh, it's like Home Alone. There's someone in here he doesn't like. Maybe this is where the water heater is. Monk ass. Oh, he's back in his imagination again. I think I'm not alone. So this is what he actually thinks is in here, and not what is in here. It has to be the water heater. It's gonna come up out of this water or something. You have the power, Captain Spirit. You have the power. She calls it the water heater. Yep. This is the water heater. You can do it, Captain Spirit. Monster, the city needs hot water. I guess we probably oh can't no. beat him until the suit's been the until the suit's made. Needs to be woken up. Careful. Here we go. He's disappearing. <laughs> yes. I want to be nine years old again and see the world like this. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Nice. That's a key task done. Costumes. Make the costume. No, maybe I can find what's around. Okay, so the water eater is done. It's got a green tick. This one doesn't have a green tick yet because we're still missing something. We need a helmet. We have the cape and the tape. We need something to make a helmet. Find the treasure. Snow monsters outside. Practice targets on beer cans. So there'll be beer cans outside as well, I would say. Superhero team is strong, but I better keep my eyes on Mantroid and the super villains. Maybe we have to beat each one of them? They muster party too, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. Okay. Here. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think of mom. Exactly, because she was killed at Christmas time. Uh, 
Guys are quiet again. You dead? Oh, he's just sleeping. Just sleeping. Let's actually check to see if there's any more figures in here that we can beat. Play with. Slippers. No superhero should wear those, but they're so comfy. You're lucky Captain Spirit had mercy on you. Yes, yeah, so that does count as a victory, even though we released him. Uh, there's no other heroes around here, I don't think. Oh, we didn't see that bag before. So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Okay. Alright, I think we're pretty much out of stuff. Far forest warrior? Did we see him? At least oh, yeah, the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. Yeah, we did see him already. Uh, we saw the wish list in the Viking book. Uh, firecrackers, he said, Dodd took off him. Pizza Arcade rankings. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. So he won everything? Nice. His friend Hal was there as well. Done everything in the dad's bedroom. Let's have a look around here now. That, uh, can we play with this now that he's asleep? Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! Yeah, well, we at least played with him, even though we didn't beat him. We're not going to burn the fire stove, because we end up setting fire to the house or something. No craziness. Dad loves his dad notebooks. Alright, we're not able to open that then. I was going to say we could evaporate the whiskey now. I think he's drank it all already. Has he? Fuck. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Yeah, there's no evaporation option anymore. He must have drank it all. So there's only an option to do that early on. I hope that didn't screw aside of some other stuff. We saw the books. Uh, we saw those books as well. And we saw that... F did we see that photo? I wonder yeah, why did. Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. That's the mysterious Nick that we don't know much about yet. Uh, went into the bathroom. We turned the hot water on. He doesn't want to do the interview yet because his suit's not finished. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored oh, to no, have an interview to... with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Extra bonus points unlocked. Real man in the house there. Unlike drunken bum lord inside. Can we take those cans anywhere actually? Set up the range. Ah oh, nice, that'll be another task. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. We need to go and get the gun as well. I know where that is. It's inside on the shelf. Oh no, he's just going to use snow. I thought he had, thought he had to use the uh, 
the gun from inside. Use the right stick to aim and right trigger to fire. Boy, I am begging you, please don't break the window. You will get your ass tanned so hard. Yes. I sense danger. Mantroid must be in the area. Oh. Nice miss, loser. Try right again. Try right up a wee bit higher, go for the like the middle of the coin. Or middle of the can even. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. One more young man. One more. Can't hit this one, it's sort of like taking me off the bench. Yeah, you can, you can go up like almost to the can, like that, and that's about as high as it can go. Go. Yes! yes. Pow! Boom! Blam! Recycle that! Another task done! Taskmaster. It's two done. No way. For family fun, come play with your gun. In Harry's Gun Range holiday, sale and show, December twentieth to twenty first, all all day, Saturday Sunday, three seven one Northeast Wood Avenue. www.cleanguns at ct. It's not safe out there. Yeah, Dad. I know. Okay, so we're not allowed out of the confines of the garden. Otherwise, Pops will get furious. Spirit mobile. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. The BCSS, Beaver Creek Social Services, November 29th, 2016. So, Mother would have been dead for two years at this point. And it's also coming up on Christmas again. Dear Mr. Erickson, this is Dr. Tamara Fallman of Beaver Creek Social Services, BCSS. As a representative of the county's elementary school districts, we would appreciate if you could come, if you could arrange to come in with your son, Chris Erickson, for a meeting on Monday afternoon at 2.15 p.m. at our local office at 2775 Water Street. If you have any questions, please call our office at 555-687-2006. Searly, spelt wrong, Tamara Fallman, MSW, BCSS. So, around Christmas of 2016, which is two years after Mother died, something happened which is where I think he actually gave up on trying to get truth and justice for whatever happened. And he turned to alcohol, and that's when he stopped like bringing me to school. So this is social services going nuts that I'm not attending school anymore. Power drive? No. There'll be no power driving. Do we have to power drive? I don't see anything about driving a car here. No. No getting shit, boy. We're not doing that. Something here between the sun and this poster, but I can't... I can't navigate to it. I guess that's just part of the planet. This box has been here forever. I didn't see any clicker in the sound that time. Oh, he had the keys. Okay. Hmm. It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. Okay, so that's full of boxes, but we can't 
go in that way. Can we go in this way? Yes, we can. Alright. Huh? What made that noise? I think in here is where we would find a helmet in storage. Where the light switch be. There we go. Uh, let's have a look around before we do anything. See a helmet. <sighs> it's hot chocolate weather. Binder. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. Neighborhood Watch, The Jock and the Artist. Emily Wyatt, and Charles Erickson, Eugene State College, 2005. I already did try 2005 because that's the year that he got his first trophy. And that wasn't his pin code. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of this odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields and why we're showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. Emily Wyatt is a cartoonist whose witty work about her strange life has been featured in print and the web, even in the pages of this paper. She hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who some say is headed to the Argon Ducks. Ironically, they met at the library and they found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math, she's art, says a shy, blushing Charles, clearly a man in love. Which are actually the same thing from opposite sides, adds Emily with a warm smile, taking her new fiancé's hand. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. I love you, Mom. We love you, Miss Erickson. Logan. Olivia. Olivia the cat. Ethan. Gavin. And Isabella. Yeah, she, she must have taught multiple kids. My first picture. It looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Hmm. I was thinking maybe if I tried 2007, because that's when wife would have been pregnant. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. Dear Miss Emily Erickson, as print, okay, so May 17th, 2011. This will be three years before she died then. And um, three years before she would have met Father then. Oh no, no, she would have met Father. She would have been with Father now at this point for six, six years. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I want to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program for our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with the long list of other alumni. We have all fond memories of you here, so thank you for thinking of us, and we hope you'll come visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. Principal Ray Wells, Blackwell Academy, Arcadia Bay, Argon. Arcadia Bay. Very interesting. That is a place very famous in the first Life is Strange. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Eugene State College, Art Department, Landis Hall, September 15, 2006. Dear Emily, we received your letter of withdrawal and resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. Okay, so she was pregnant in 2006. Interesting year. Let's try that as pin code when we go back in. While we are truly happy for you and your family, we're also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. Your unique and witty illustrations have been well received on campus and in the school paper, so we expect to see more of your work with us and others. Hopefully when you're ready, you'll consider coming back to Eugene State to finish your art degree and further inspire us. If you have any questions, please contact us anytime. Best wishes. Professor D. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that, and Dad couldn't stop laughing. Good night, good night, handsome. Step one, step two. Step three. Step four. Honey, you got a cold again? I told you to eat more fruits. 
even though she's been gradually taking the blanket off him every night. I don't get this one. I'm too young. Man, isn't it your turn, Mr. Officer? What's up, buddy? <laughs> so obviously mother and father were in the middle of something there when he was crying the place down. <laughs> they were obviously a couple very much in love until 2014 then. Which definitely explains Pop's alcoholism, so... I can understand it now. I certainly don't forgive it, but I can understand it a lot more. He's not as much of a douche lord. Ooh, I can even paint my costume once I make it. Okay, so we might need to come back out here to paint things. Combination lock. Ooh. What kind of code would he use? Yes! Whoa! I just fucking tried that because it was the trophy. There's your firecrackers. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. Dear Charles, thank you for your lovely note and flowers for Kristen's birthday. They always mean more coming from you. We miss you and we would love to see how Chris is growing. Like you, we also still miss every Emily every day, every hour and minute. We know that grief is part of your life, so we'll always know that we think of you often. We're always here for you like you were there for us, forever. Stay in touch. Let's make plans to meet soon. Your family and always in our hearts and prayers. Love. <sighs> right. Local woman killed in a hit and run. I thought it was a car crash, but I knew it was vehicle involved in some way. So she was actually knocked down and killed, which means that's why... He went off to the police to try and get the video evidence. He involves a private detective after that, so I guess they find out who was driving the car. And then... Got the private detective to investigate them. I'm going to read the report anyway. Local woman killed in hit and run. Police are seeking witnesses to a fatal hit and run that occurred on December 16th, 2014. At... 7.15 p.m. Tuesday night on Mantle Street and Asteroid Drive. The victim, identified as Emily Erickson, 28, of Beaver Creek, Oregon, was apparently walking from her stranded car when she was struck head-on by an un unidentified speeding vehicle. She is survived by a husband and son who were not on the scene at the time. Captain Anderson says that the toll cameras may hold important clues. We're treating this as a case of vehicular homicide. Anybody with information regarding the incident should call the anonymous Beaver Creek Police Hotline at 555 Capture. I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. A lot. Loving memory of Emily Erickson. Emily Erickson, 28, beloved wife, mother, and daughter, departed our world far too soon on December 16th, 2014. Beaver Creek, Argonne. Emily was born in Eugene, Oregon on January 25th, 1986. It's a possible year to try as well. To Peter and Kristen Wyatt. Passionate artist since kindergarten, she was near the top of her class at Eugene High School, winning various local art competitions and a prize scholarship to the prestigious Blackwell Academy in Arcadia Bay, Oregon. After graduation, she went back to Eugene and married her college sweetheart, Charles Erickson, on May the 1st, 2006 so could be 5106 as well Emily and Charles moved to Beaver Creek Oregon in 2007 where she later began a rewarding career teaching kindergarten and inspiring young people in the arts Emily and Charles were also blessed with a wonderful son Chris born on February 8th 2007 
note some of these dates down because otherwise we'll have to come back outside again. So the sun was born on February 8th, 2007. Sun born. And the marriage was on May 1st, 2006. Marriage. If you're wondering why we're doing this, we're trying to figure out what his father's pen code is for his for his phone. Okay, they were also blessed with a wonderful son, Chris, born on February eighth, two thousand seven. Yeah, we got that. Emily's honest and humorous online comic strips about her family life brought her humble recognition. She is survived by her husband Charles, their son Chris, and her parents Peter and Kristen. Funeral services are planned for twelve p.m. December twentieth. Eugene Willow Hill Cemetery with a reception to follow. Friends and family are welcome and encouraged to pay their last respects. Let's actually write down mom's birth as well. So that was, was it January 25th? It's very unlikely to be the mother's birth because you wouldn't put for your pin code the birth, the birth date of your wife. Be more more likely some significant date that you shared together. Uh, birth of mom. I'm just writing it down anyway, just so we can try it. She was killed on December sixteenth, twenty fourteen. Death. Okay. Got everything from that. Red grandparents letter of Red the Binder. We got the firecrackers. I think we're done in here. Let's close that bad boy up. Can't lock it again, so that means we're in shit with father when he discovers what we've done. Old box. This is where mom went to school before we came here. I'm just I, I don't get this one. I'm too young. Hiking boots. Dad never threw away Mom's hiking boots. Good. They're not involved in our... You know, our... Uh, suit that we're building, so we don't need them. I think we've seen everything in here, Chris. Let's get out of here. Ah, yes, Mr. Snowman, you are my task in the top right. Looks like Snowman, sir, wants to destroy our town. I, only I can stop him this time. There's the lake. What does it say with this? Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. Okay, well, we don't have the second part of the map yet. Oh, my God. The lake demon is rising. Oh, I can't do anything there. Not that we would want to anyway, because he'll end up falling through that and drowning or something. It's not like drunken father will come out in the next five hours. Right, let's go kick this snowman's ass. Oh, snowman, sir. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? A beer can for his nose. Or is he drawing his face? <laughs> No, he did. He put it on his nose. No. Nope. You're ready to die, snowman, sir. Oh shit, he's gonna kill him with a firecracker. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. I would still find this cool now at my age. Oh, 
awesome. So cool. No Mancer almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. Why does he get cigarettes so now, inside his head? I suppose maybe Father built helped build him at some point. Dad won't fix this wing because it's too dangerous to fix. Because he can't be asked, so he can stay inside and drink is more closer to the truth. sort of helmet or anything up in here secret stash what's in here <laughs> open sesame oh, damn it I thought the helmet was going to be in there secret decoder what's this for now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure Interesting. Wonder do I go back and put that on the map in my room then? These are my favorite baseball players. Even if I don't understand the stats. Noah Raymond, John McClanahan, Scott Cicero. School letters. Harry did say mean things about Dad. But I can't let him see this. Dear Mr. Erickson, I want to let you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with my son Harry Sorber and his friends after school this week. Chris claimed that they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child and only knows you through me. Harry would never say something like that. My boy is the best boy. Like every bully punk. As you might know, Harry is an honor student and a decorated boy scout. Of course he is. Maybe you should talk to Chris about his behavior. If this bullying continues, I will be forced to speak to his school. Sincerely. And Brett Sorber does know how to spell sincerely, unlike the person who works in the school. Interesting. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. Oh, Chris. Got a B in math. A D in physical education, C in English, C plus in history. Just like mom, you got an A in elective art. Boy. That was 22nd of March 2015, so that was two years ago. He would have still been at school at that point, but probably because of his mother dying just the year before, his performance would have been starting to suffer, I would say. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. What are you cooking me, my sweet Valentine? Your favorite dish? Pizza! Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. There are these three dudes on the door here. I can't do anything with the picture. Wasn't part of Montroid's gang, anyway. Dr. Red, who are you? That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. Kick his ass, throw him out of the treehouse. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. You tell your father to mind his own business. Sky pirate. The fortress looks safe since we last talked. Ah, that must be who he radios. Oh nice, I've ticked off the gang now. Destroyed him, got rid of the beer cans, we found all of the Mantroid's gang. 
Turn the water eater on. I haven't found the suit yet. I haven't got into the phone. We are going to find the treasure because we find the rest of the map. We're getting there. Not much left now, I don't think. Old bowl, what's this? I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after Dad used it for an ashtray. Gross. Who we'll sit at the edge there? And please don't fall out and break your legs. I beg. Amethyst and flowers on the table. Is it real or a fable? Well, I suppose a friend. It's the same as one of the interludes in Life is Strange. This would basically go as long as you want. This will end. Chimney Swift that finds me, be my keeper. Silhouette of a sea eater. What is that song you sing for the dead? His life must suck so much ass. What is that song you sing? For the dead, I see the signal searchlight strike me in the window and of my room. Well, I got nothing to prove. Well, I got nothing to prove. I guess in some ways it doesn't, but in other ways it's major suck. Totally escapes using his own imagination from his shitty life. He's bound to be very lonely. Hey, right, young man, let's go back down. can't see the map from here. Let's see if we could check the map and see what he actually calls this place based on where the treehouse is. I don't know if we're actually allowed in there. If there's a... If there's a gap in the fence here that we can maybe climb through. No, it's not giving me the option. There mustn't be any way in there at all. I guess it would be pretty weird for me to be trespassing in somebody else's garden anyway, so not so hard to understand. I think at the front of the house here. Not really, we're pretty much round in a circle now. In almost everything. What's this big place? Junk pile. I don't like the sinister music here. Don't get your ass trapped, please. Go left, go right, or leave. Go left. I kind of get the idea that this place isn't actually this big. It's probably only like five feet. Left. Left again. Thank you. 
back at the other side, or we're back at the side we started on. Oh no, I think we're out in the middle now. There's something buried here. Fast as dust! I forgive you, Mother. I can hear you. And I long to be near you. But every road leads to an end. Oh, it's pictures of him with his mom. Again. He used to play games together on the console. That's why the console means so much to him. That's why he wants his dad to fix it. He used to play games with his mom on it all the time. He's now crying. Box EU and NA, but very nice to see inside though. Mom is so pretty. I miss Mom's smile. Was that the treasure by any chance? It was. It was his treasure. Okay, so that's what the decoder would have eventually led us to if we hadn't found it on our own. So we really only have two puzzles left to solve now, and then we can do the, the main one. I wonder where the hell the helmet is? I'm sure we would have seen it by now. It doesn't look like his dad rides a, motor rides a motorbike or anything. He just drives that shitty truck, so... I don't know where this helmet could be coming from. still dead. There has to be a helmet in here somewhere. Oh, the washing's done. Oh, I don't have to take it out. This is decorations we already looked at. Said that his dad doesn't want to do anything with them. Finds him too much of mom. Right, let's see if we can punch our way through this phone. Right, so son was born in 2007. Got married in 2006. And his wife was born in 1986. Okay. So if we apply American dates to this, this would be February. Eighth. Two thousand seven. Fuck. Okay, you got married May first, two thousand six. Charles, I hate you. Mothers. Mother's birth date I can't put in because it's too long. The wife died in 2014. I knew they wouldn't have used that as the as the year. Uh, the death is too long, but let's try it. It'll be oh shit, no cancel. It'll be December 
16th. There's not even like fingerprints around any of the, the keys or anything to tell me which one it would be. Uh, 2008 2007 2006 2005 was the trophy year but that was the very first one we ever tried 2004 No, I don't know. Figure out what his pin code would be. Better say again. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool. But no way I'm ever leaving Dad. Already read that, that didn't help us. There's my hot dog man. Dog man. I can't see Dad selling out. Whoa. Is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. That would be a blast being... Oh, those are dad's pages. There's from the 2016 and 2017 stats. Maybe his son or maybe his father is a bigger dumbass than I thought. Please tell me you didn't put the current year as your pin. Okay, you're actually not as dumb as I thought then. Okay. Did I have to read the stats book by any chance? Dad loves his stat notebooks. Oh. this shit off, no. Yeah. Look again at the... Dad never smiles like that anymore. Yeah, so we tried... Tried this. Number seven when he was playing. Back to thinking you're a dumb fuck again. Grandpa's ladder. Own. And number seven. Okay, it was worth a shot. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Some information on those pictures. Trophy already Dad looked was at. so popular. 2005. I'm not seeing any other year there other than that. We already tried that year. Didn't help us. Nothing on that one. There's the Ericsson 7 top. Nothing on that. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool story, Dad. Where do you use your own cell phone number? I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Mr. Non Park. We never actually find out any more information about this Nick, whoever he is. I wish this has to be Mom's. She liked art. Hmm. Ooh, that looks scary. I was just looking I quickly at those that. again just for any year clues, but I didn't see any. Right, 
right. Where was my mop again? Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. Those go. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I have to place it right. What if it's like this? No. Let's see. Where else? I'm having difficulty making sense of the system he's using here. Oh wait, hold on. There's number one there. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. We already found the treasure like it's in the scrapyard in the Maze of Doom. Curious what those other numbered steps were. I think he's just using his imagination as if he would follow it like this route to get to the treasure. Anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have... Uh, maybe my problem would be totally solved if I hadn't said that I wanted a helmet. Maybe I've put myself in this hell. Is there anything else in here, maybe? I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Nothing in there. Look at that before. I miss playing ball with my friends. We did. Before, before we moved. We already did look at that. Hmm. Dumped where this helmet is. The helmet is the biggest thing that's annoying me because I, I feel it's something I should have spotted by now but haven't. Like you think of a helmet being a huge item. It's either in a cupboard or I'm just completely blind and have walked past it loads of times. Not in here that I can see. Already looked in the bathroom. Back into Pop's room here, see if we didn't miss anything. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Checking that it doesn't light up anything else apart from that missing key. But I don't think it does. Dad was so angry at the police. Oh yeah, that was Jeez. the investigation letters again. Saw so those already. Nothing else in that cupboard that I could see there. Sure, we saw everything in here already, but let's have another look. This is the this is the one that disappointed me the most because I felt there should have been something to take away out of here when we had to go to the trouble to get a key to get in here. Hmm. Maybe it's not new? Who cares? It's mine. Good boy. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. 
give us any information on it. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Every year. That's scary. So we moved because Dad couldn't pay for the house. Dad got fired. That's when he started working for the railroad. Okay, uh, this letter up here. Mm. Oh, yeah, Dad never the told me letter. he had a new friend. Friend. Yeah, we have seen everything in there. Really want to play that record, but I don't want to wake him. We've looked at the height gauge as well. Five years, 2012, and it's got what love hearts. What did Dad do on a Saturday when he was a kid? Sports. So all the other years... All the other years are just markings, except... For 2012, which is highlighted in red pen. Five years, 2012. That could be... When was the marriage? 2006. It's not their wedding anniversary. Maybe 2012 was a significant year. Try that. Worth a try. Worth a try. Get you, Charles. I'm close to wanting to look this up now, and I don't want to do that because I, I apparently hate doing that on games. I don't want to be at the point where I'm just wandering around frustrated looking at the same stuff all the time as well. Let's go back into the bedroom and have another look. So, all of that stuff. Captain Spear again. doesn't need weapons. Oh, yes. But just in case. Oh, wait, is he going to take something? No. I wonder, could I maybe take something off the snowman now that the. Now that he's destroyed, maybe use that for a helmet? Oh, I just, I think I've looked at everything in this house at least three or four times now. I'm not seeing any answers as to where this helmet is. I don't know what that pin code for the phone is as well, so I'm getting closet fever here. We need to go back outside. Let's roll. At least there's no real time in this. That I can see anyway. Seem to have as long as I want to complete this. We've looked in the garage. I don't think we've been around here yet. Hmm. Looks like we had a visitor. With a birdie? That's true, actually. He did ask earlier who was making that noise in here, and we never found out. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. It was weird how my first picture 
It looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Coming soon. Emily's this stuff. is where mom went to school before we came here. Mom didn't go to... Oh, wow. I remember when mom... I don't get this one. I'm too young. Another looking pop's locker. That's the letter offering to take care of me. <laughs> the article I know Dad death. spent a lot of money on the funeral. Oh. No, I'm not seeing any answers, and I also... Oh, there's the hole where the bird came in. The only thing with it. Alright, let's go back out. If I were a helmet, where would I be? I've got satellite at least. Bucket. Oh. Maybe make a helmet out of that. No option for doing anything with the destroyed snowman. Thing with the swing. Pick up the ladder, please. I'll look in the tree house again. in the secret stash box, there was nothing. And look at those pages. We saw Nocturne Ed already, we sat there and listened to the music, talked about his bowl. Yep, go back down again. Alright. Back to the house we go. It's explanation time. Isn't the door around this side? Oh no, it is the other side. Well, hello, what's this? Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. They? Jerks. Like w people don't drink in bars around here. I and why no? You know, so kids came past and spread wino on his house then, because he's always drunk all the time. The father, that is, not the child. Out for some frustrating shit. H. A. W. E. D. A. W. Hot dog. Yes! I can hack any system! 
way I could have got that so out. So cool. Million years. Where's my hot dog, man? I gotta say it's a mustard. <laughs> All right, you're off the top of I can hold it, Diane. Cool. Shit. If you hold it too long, it just turns into this, like, huge nitrous blast and he just goes flying up into the sky. really hard to get all three of those. And I definitely can't get that middle one. That's the same yeah. duck that killed me last time. I mean, we don't, we don't have to beat this. We, we just wanted to play it. Yeah, it's not so impossible. Oh wow. Who is this guy? Need more points. We're getting there, big boy. Hundred eighty nine. That's pretty respectable, I think. Two hundred fifty six. Fuck. We can do it. Problem is, whenever it gets up to that stage, it gets really fucking hard. Which you can't even get that far. The bigger problems. There's no movement to this whatsoever. It's literally just pressing A at select times. Depending on how long you want to press it for. Fun clip. Fucking test this whenever they first made it. Need more points. Dang it, dang it. Yes, I'm the hot dog master. Oh, yeah. Get up! Ah, oh, come on! That was nuts! Oh, I'll beat the high score at least. I would love to see Hot Dog Man team up with Captain Spirit. Awesome. So we beat the phone game. Done all those tasks. We beat the snowman. Pretty much have to do the helmet now. And this is missed. Ooh. This could make a pretty good helmet. Unbelievable. We were never looking for a helmet. Which is why I couldn't find it. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. 
know where the paint is. Let's go finish it. Oh yeah, it was here. Guys have been healing pain fumes the end. Captain Spirit to the rescue, and it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. What was that again? I think we need to go and look at the map again. I can't actually remember where I'm meant to go now. I have the full suit. Probably into the neighbor's yard or something. Yeah, I'll check the map first. It'll only take me a minute. Got me dead father's back. Nope, still passed out. Treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. Where Android what? doesn't say. Unless he's gonna blast off in the car or something. It's team. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Find them all already. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. And we did. You're lucky Captain Spirit had mercy on you. So now that we've done all this, how do we finish? Costume is finally ready. Look out, super villains. Here comes. Mantra is still hiding his planet. With my full costume, I could use my spaceship and find him. What do you arm as your spaceship? Sure, he's looked at it before while we were looking at stuff as well and I've forgotten. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Or the world. I read you one again. I think the Flying Fortress is secure. For now. Myth, you were first to his tree house is the Flying Fortress. Then again, he could make he could mean a base. One of two things: it'll be his dad, the jeep, or no, 
Now that's a superhero. Yeah, it'll be his dad's Jeep or the treehouse. One of the two. I really hope it's the treehouse. Really want to see a nine year old going out in a blaze of glory here. The spirit mobile. Here I come, Mantroid. Oh, no, it is. Oh, Chris, what are you doing? Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no! Meteor showers! Turn on the force field! Too late! Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! Oh, cool. He was just imagining it. The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder I've one, Mantroid lives here. I have one concern though, it didn't show the truck moving, or it didn't really show out the windows, so I'm worried that he's actually... But how could anyone live here? I'm worried he has actually driven the truck and he's sad, actually moment. dead now. What's that sound? Something is coming. Or somebody. Man Troy, show yourself, you coward! Please just say that you're in your neighbor's yard or something like that. I just want something to happen to him. You're gonna crush shit and destroy you. Hold on now, this looks like a main road. Oh, son. Maybe it's all your fault.
I can't let you live. <laughs> Asteroid Drive on Mantle Street? In the place where his mother died? You will pay for what you did, man, Troy. I guess he just imagined it. How could he have imagined it unless he was... He must have been there. He must have been out walking with him. But he's actually seen what happened to her. See? Oh, things I've done. Right. Go waken your dumbass dad. Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh... Dad! You want to hit the car? She's fine. Uh, fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No, I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. <sighs> Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> the pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Social services, hopefully. Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. The inspector or a cop of some kind? It might be just a oh neighbor. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. He doesn't know of her. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Teacher? Maybe? Just... Just... Just? Just doing homework, you know? On a Saturday? I didn't know you were such a good student. Teachers must love you. Not a teacher, okay. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the front porch, so I hope you don't work all day. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything Excuse okay? Me? Yeah, of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, uh, I don't know, but it was loud. And there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. We kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. I'm 
must be hearing things. I hope you have something else planned for today. Oh yeah, me and my dad are gonna go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. And Dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Seems okay. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We're here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. I think she knows what your old Thanks, dad is bud. actually like. I promise I'll see you later. Bear Reynolds. Okay. Hi, Mrs. Reynolds. Yeah, she definitely knows what so he's like. So what did that nosy bitch want? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh. No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, every time you talk... Stop it. I, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! Nice job. That's a pretty good place to go. Drunk ass won't be able to get. Oh no. Okay, that's cool. I mean, we know obviously what actually happened to him, but at least he. He didn't fall and get wrecked. I guess he's gonna fly now. That would be pretty cool now if he flies. <laughs> oh, that end, boy. He possibly has the same powers as Max. I thought at the end there that they were just doing something to cover up, like, a child getting wrecked. But I have a completely different idea on that now. Because when he stood up there, the, the neighbor and the son of the neighbor were there and he was saying hello to them. Meaning that 
there was nothing wrong with him. I think he actually stopped time there. Holy shit. That was a good ending. That was pretty fucking cool for a free game. That man needs a Deccan. You've got it. Especially right at the very end there, like he was absolute dick lord. Just needed a good BAM! That was fucking cool though. Love that. Very glad we checked that tonight. Of course, we didn't have time for uh, our usual game of choice that we're playing at the moment, um, but I'll be streaming again tomorrow night. Thursday night as usual, like, so we can definitely pick it up. And here, of course, we've got a huge reminder of what we're normally playing, which is Jurassic World Evolution. Lovely to have a dinosaur cruise past at the same time as saying that. Hope you enjoy watching that. It was very, very cool. I have no qualms about pre-ordering the second game now as well. Oh, and look who it is. Look who it is. Look who has literally crawled out of the wall to say hello at the very end of the night. Hello, Ignis. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm, I'm in a fucking stellar mood now after playing that. That was cool. Intensely skip this one? How come? Do you want to play it yourself? I mean, I guess you should because it's completely free. Pretty much everybody should play this, no excuses. Guys, I think I'm going to leave this to play out now. I don't know how long credits are going to be, could be another 30 seconds, could be already done. Hold on, never mind, we're into legal stuff about music. Ah, oh, there's Don't Nod only starting up now, yeah, this will be going for another couple of minutes. I'm going to leave this to play out, and I will be back again tomorrow evening with Jurassic World Evolution. Thank you very much for watching this playthrough though. Bit of a shorter stream than usual, but very, very enjoyable game. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday nights. I will see you again tomorrow evening, 10.45pm, with continuation of Jurassic World Evolution. Good night. <laughs>